Radio London time is now exactly 12 midday, and that is Boulevard Watch Time. B-U-L-O-V-A Boulevard. When you know what makes a watch tick, you're by a Boulevard. Here's the latest weather word on Wonderful Radio London. It's going to be a warm and wonderful afternoon and a dry evening ahead. Despite what they said about yesterday about the brolly dollies, a Sunday will now be dry at least in the Clacton area. Temperatures will be up in the 70s and a warm evening ahead with a nighttime low of 12 degrees. Warmer than last night. The outlook for Monday and the week ahead changeable, but on the balance it's not going to be too bad. B-I-G-L and the beat goes on and on and on and on. On and on and on and on. B-I-G-L and the beat goes on and on and on and on. Hi there, you there. A very good, good afternoon to everyone listening here to Big L Radio London on 266 metres, 1134 kilohertz. Hi, and welcome to the programme. Many thanks to Ray Edison for the last three fantastic hours. Didn't we enjoy ourselves last week at oh, Harlow? Oh, did oh. we have a good time? Fantastic. More about that and on. In the meantime, it's Wombat on the wireless from Battle 3. Have fun with me. Sunday off our afternoon spectacular this afternoon there is uh, Cat Stevens and uh, I love my dog, I love my dog too. I hope you enjoy uh, um, <laughs> your dog too and your pets, whatever you're doing this afternoon. Well, lovely here to be here on the end of Clacton Pier this afternoon and uh, away we go with our record show, as I say, on the radio. And our next piece of wonderful music here on the Big Eld this afternoon. Bye. Whoops. <laughs> There's a good start for uh, the afternoon. It's running. It should not be, but here we go. Martha and the Vandellas. Jerry Butler is from uh, an EP45 uh, here on Big L Radio London this afternoon uh, from DJM and uh, that old song Make It Easy on Yourself which of course the uh, Walker Brothers did as well uh, Jerry Butler or the Black Echoes sorry Jerry Butler uh, was the, the main artist in that Bill, Bird Backrat and Hal David wrote it and it's from the album and called it Make It Easy on Yourself quite easy wasn't it eh? 10 minutes after uh, uh, 12 o'clock here on a Saturday afternoon today being the 11th day in the month of uh, August in the year 2000 and uh, just referring back to what I said to Ray uh, about uh, last Saturday afternoon at Clacton uh, was wonderful, without a doubt, and thanks for all those who came down. And uh, on Sunday, of course, we went to Harlow to the Super 60s concert. And, uh, of course, there were people like Keith West, him of Grocer Jack fame, uh, the uh, theme from the Teenage Opera, and uh, the Beatles uh, recreation band, and also, uh, of course, Union Gap, without Gary Puckett. He left them in uh, 74, I was told, by one of the members of the band. But uh, we had a marvellous afternoon, and uh, many thanks to those of you who did go down to Harlow who are listening to the radio station now. I hope you're enjoying the programme as much as we have here, uh, putting it all together. Great music's on its way, cause the Wombat's here today. So let us not delay, turn it on, turn it up right away. Here yesterday's great sounds today. They were called the New Beats uh, from uh, the years band gone by. Larry Henley and Dean Mathis and uh, Mark uh, Mathis, Mathis rather, they uh, took a simple formula like I like bread and butter, I like toast and jam, made a chance success of uh, both uh, sides of the Atlantic uh, as well and uh, was re-released by DGM Bread and Butter uh, back in uh, on uh, the 10th of uh, uh, September in the year 1977. So there you are. That just tells you a little bit about uh, the discovery and information here on Big L. Uh, Radio London at uh, now 17 minutes it's after 12 o'clock, Ian Damon with you through until 3 o'clock today. David Clayton Thomas, they were great musicians without a doubt, sweat, uh, blood, sweat and tears. We're blood, sweating and tears this afternoon. I tell you what, getting things right here for you this afternoon on the Big L. Uh, a lot of people around the pier this afternoon too. If you haven't come down and seen us as yet, please, please, we'd love to see you. And if you're listening on the internet, uh, tell your friends as well to uh, tune us in on uh, www.bigl.co.uk. 
good. No, it wasn't, was it? Four always one, two, three jumps ahead. Stick with us, you'll be well fed with happy music all the way. Easy listening with a smile. Keep jumping, follow suit. You're gonna have a bright new future. These are the monkeys in the Pleasant Valley Sunday, one I remember playing very well back in 67 on the Big L on the old Galaxy. Great song. The local rock group down the street is trying hard. <laughs> That's a guy named Barry Mans, you see, putting the microphone on and talking while we're uh, playing the record. I hope you didn't hear anything we said. We didn't say anything too bad. I'm sure we didn't. <laughs> Uh, dear oh me, it's all happening in the best of regulated radio stations. Five to one, Barry Mann and uh, that old ABC 45 uh, called Who Put the Bump in the Bumpity Bump Bump from 1961 here on The Big Al. Right, what's just... happening? It's Carol King. Carol King there on that song, of course, uh, I Feel the Earth Move, and we can feel the pier shake too sometimes, I tell you what. Oh, uh, here are the Beach Boys to take us to one. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ran, and the Beach Boys there for you here on The Big L. <laughs> One o'clock is our time, that's Bulliver Watch Time here on Radio London, the world's largest makers of fine Swiss watches, B-U-L-O-V-A, Bulliver, at your Bulliver Jewellers, now. Here's the latest weather word on wonderful Radio London. Warm and wonderful afternoon and a dry evening ahead too. Despite what they said yesterday, the Brolly Dollies say that Sunday will now be dry, at least in the Clacton area. Temperatures will be up to in the 70s and a warm evening ahead of a nighttime low of 12 degrees centigrade. Uh, warmer than last night. Uh, hedging their bets though, the weather persons really say that it'll be partly cloudy uh, and a very few spots of drizzle otherwise dry and becoming warm and humid. They say 23 degrees centigrade is the high. That's the mid-70s to you and me. Uh, tonight, uh, Missy, you're around the coast and a sticky 15 degrees centigrade, which is still, 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 still in uh, the low 60s. And there's the weather word and the local news and all the rest of it will be with uh, JBR at uh, half past uh, uh, the hour of uh, one this afternoon here on the Big L. One minute past one. And off my, one of my all-time faves here to start the next hour off on the Ian Damon Spectacular. Oh, it's a whiter shade of pale from Procol Harum. A shade of pale there, of course, and uh, none other than uh, the uh, artists who uh, you heard this afternoon on the Big L, and they were, of course, the Procol Harum. Okay, uh, it's Big L Radio London here on uh, 266 metres medium wave. I'm Ian Damon through until three, and uh, then after me, ah, here's a, a young man. I say young in the best possible sense from down under. Bringing you your Big L 60s vibrants, Ian Damon, Keith Skews, and all the way from down under, yours truly, Norm St. John. Thanks, Norm, and Norm will be here between three and six today. We're gonna move, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna groove, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna groove, yeah, 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 yeah. That you'll hear all there is to hear. Right here on Wonderful Radio London. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we hear the Beatles this morning. Of course, Ray was playing a, a special hour of uh, the Beatles, and that happens each, each and every Saturday morning with Ray Anderson uh, between uh, the hours of uh, 10 and 11. So if you're joining us next Saturday, please, please, please. Meantime, let's uh, move on with uh, our next Revive 45 here on The Big Earth. Oh, yeah, indeedy, there's a song for you here this afternoon from uh, the Dell Vikings, if, if uh, my memory is going a bit bad, but there you go. Uh, the Dell Vikings come go with me as uh, from uh, Imperial Records, uh, originally from Canada. Uh, but um, 1957 was the original uh, release date of that. Uh, Lightning Records back in the 70s produced a lot of 45s, and that's a double side of the other side is Whispering Bells, uh, the Dell Vikings, and I like to play Revive 45s. Hi, if you're listening on the internet this afternoon, uh, and a very good afternoon if you've just joined us around the world. We're on www.bigl.co.uk. This is Radio London, and we're on the end of Clacton Pier in Essex, 11.34 kilohertz, that's 266 metres, old money, on the old medium wave band. OK, moving on musically in just a sec. Uh-huh, what are we have? <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, another one of my old faves from the top 500. New Vaudeville Band. New Vaudeville Band there on uh, Radio London, and that, uh, of course, is the old Winchester Cathedral. Been to the Winchester Cathedral several times, um, many, many moons back, though, and uh, it's a lovely place without a doubt. And it's a lovely place here, too, at the end of Clacton Pier, for those who have uh, not come down and seen us as yet. How dare you, as uh, another old colleague used to say. Remember him? Yes. Went to his funeral in 1985, too, T.W. Um, so, uh, long since remembered, and of course, one of the old stalwarts from the early days, and uh, I think I, I first met Tony uh, Windsor, is his real name, uh, back in uh, the year 1952 uh, in Sydney, Australia. But that's another story for another time. Meantime, after these, aha, uh -huh, we'll have for you uh, um, something exciting from the Beatles the once more. The Lunchtime Show. Brought to you by Clacton Factory Shopping Village. For massive savings every day, visit the village. Wonderful Radio London. cha-cha-cha and all that. Did you dance to that? Well, you're going to dance to something really good in a, in a few moments' time from uh, Revive 45, from uh, a group from uh, America, uh, and uh, they're called uh, Spanky and our gang. But uh, in the uh, first uh, instance, uh, uh, rock and roll music, of course, from uh, the Beatles. What else? 60 minutes after 1 o'clock is our time. The new Big L Fat 500 poster contains the entire top 500 songs from the Big L years, 1964 to 1967, plus 100 songs from the summer of love. Sell them, it comes in a cardboard tube. Find out where all your favorite songs are on the chart, plus pictures of the Big L DJs and a superb color aerial photo of the MV Galaxy at sea. Don't forget to mention the cardboard tube. Yes, each poster comes in a cardboard tube for just £9.99. Visit our shop on Clacton Pier or send a postal order or check for £9.99 to Free Post Big L. Or call our credit card hotline on 01255 Six seven six two five two to order yours. Did you mention the cardboard tube? Yes, every Big L Fab 500 poster comes in a handy cardboard tube. So when you hang your poster on the wall, you can use your tube to sing through. Finch de Central is two and six pence from gold is green on the northern line. Cardboard tube included at no additional cost. The Big L Fab 500 poster is £9.99, including passage and poker. Buy one today, and what will you do with your cardboard tube? Don't be rude. Remember this golden classic. It is a lazy day today, too, I tell you. That's uh, Spanky and our gang from uh, Mercury Records, and that's a song called uh, Lazy Day. At uh, 21 minutes past uh, 1 o'clock on the Big L, Radio London, Ian Damon with you through till 3. And after me today, it is Norman St. John from Down Under with a great programme. Just thing on my way home last... Um Saturday afternoon. He doesn't sound a day older than he did when he was on the ship all those moons and moons ago, eh? <laughs> oh, did he, eh? <laughs> right, we go. Great music's on its way Cause the wombat's here today Sure am. So let us not delay Turn it on, turn it up right away Hear yesterday's great sounds today Great sound there from uh, the Doobie Brothers and uh, here on Radio London was uh, that song called uh, Keep On Running. Well, we keep on running down the end of the pier, I tell you what. Tom Johnson wrote it and uh, it's uh, on a, an, an album of theirs uh, of greatest hits indeed from uh, the Doobie Brothers. Good stuff. OK, uh, we have about five minutes before John Ross Bernard comes in to read the news here on Radio London. And uh, after the news, of course, uh, back with more music. And I'll be here through till three today on the Big L Radio London. Big L! Summer Music Power! Oz pressed 45, there you are. From American Columbia, CBS originally from uh, Down Under as well. He used to have an octagonal record label called Coronet back in the 50s. I remember that well. Happy Heart from Andy Williams. And news coming away here on the Big L very, very shortly. Meantime, have a little listen to this one. Ah, oh, Ruby and the Romantics.
it finishes as well. It doesn't fade out. Oh, mighty good music there. MGM Records uh, produced uh, and by uh, Roger um, Easterby, was it? Yes, I was absolutely right in this champ. And uh, Russ Morgan's uh, song from blah, 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 all those ba- years back in the 50s, but made by Tony Brandon in 1968, and that was actually released on the 19th of April that particular year on an MGM 45. You can find your own copy of it. It's worth a fiver, according to the record <laughs> books. <laughs> good for you. Right, four and a half minutes before two o'clock. Tony, of course, as I say, uh, not able to be with us on Big L this time, but um, uh, we remember him very, very well, and uh, I did see him just a month or so ago. All right, um, music-wise, we uh, we move on with uh, this after this. Yes, right. Wonderful Radio Cheers to all those guys up at the Hard Rock uh, uh, Cafe up in Harwich too this afternoon. Hope you're enjoying uh, the get-together and I shall see you in an hour or so. Ah, eh? oh, one from 67, my fave rave. This is Stevie Wonder and I was made to love her. Classical guest from Mason Williams, that is one minute past one o'clock, past two o'clock here on the Big L's afternoon. And uh, weather word for all you in a moment, Bulova Watch Time, the world's largest makers of the finest Swiss watches, Bulova, B-U-L-O-V-A, at your Bulova Jewelers, now. Ah, <laughs> why didn't that fire? Oh, I know, why <laughs> Yes, well, the weather word says for t- this afternoon. Uh, hedging their bets, the weather person say that it'll be partly cloudy, a very few spots of drizzle, otherwise dry and becoming warm and humid. 23 degrees centigrade, that's in the mid-70s Fahrenheit, uh, to you and me. Uh, tonight, misty around the coast and a sticky 15 degrees centigrade, which is still in the low 60s. Ian Big L time now is for five minutes after two o'clock. Ian Damon with you through until three, and then it's Norman St. John time through until uh, six o'clock tonight. He's got a great program lined up, lots of deadies and requests and things. And uh, you'll have to do biddy 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 biddy, yes. <laughs> oh, Cliff Rebel and the Rebel Rouses. Cliff Bennett and the Rebel Rouses right now. I was alone. Leonard and McCarthy's uh, song course got to get you into my life there is uh, sung by Cliff Bennett and the Rebel Rousers. That was uh, actually reissued on an Alaska 45 uh, back in 1975, but originally came from the year 1966, of course. Cliff Bennett and the Rebel Rousers and got to get you into my life. Eight minutes after through two, o'clock, <laughs> two o'clock here on The Big L. Uh, we'd like to remind you now uh, just uh, a little bit about the um, famous competition that I ran last Saturday and I am again today and there's all sorts of news about it. Uh, so see, madly now looking for the piece of paper, which I have here. Uh, thanks to a generous donation from Backbeak Books. Radio London will be giving away eight fantastic book prizes. We've been one away and there's more to come. Uh, Black Backbeat Books, try and say that quickly. It's a new name launched in January 19, um, 2001, this year of course, and continuing the 10-year legacy of the former Millen Freeman Book Company. Now, the company's purpose is to produce the best publications for readers who are passionate about music. In 2001, Backbeat Books is publishing over 30 new titles, a wide-ranging mix with something for almost every musical interest. Now, the books are designed to entertain and inform fans about the music they love, to turn readers on to new artists and recordings, and also to provide information and inspiration for musicians. Uh, here at Big L Radio London, we're fortunate to be able to offer you uh, some of those titles, and I will give away another book in this hour, prizes during our 28-day broadcast. We're here, of course, uh, on Clacton Pier until the end of the uh, the month, as you know. Uh, you can check the Backbeat website at www.backbeakbook. <laughs> dot com. That's spelled B-A-C-K-B-E-A-T-U-K, all one word, dot com. Or there's a phone number to ring, actually. I'll give that uh, to you a couple of times uh, throughout this hour. Uh, 020-7436-0525, and they'll give you a catalogue, all right? 020-7436-0525 is the phone number for that catalogue from Backbeat Books, Backbeat Books, and I'll be giving that prize away, as I say, uh, very, very shortly here on the Big L Radio London, 266 metres on the old medium wave. 
Yeah, working my way back to you there on uh, the uh, big old this afternoon. Hope you enjoyed that one. I tell you what, that's a uh, great frantic Atlante. The spinners for you there, Detroit spinners, of course, as we know them. 13 and a half minutes after 2 o'clock, our time. If you're watching clocks, I hope you're not really. Uh, people aren't watching clocks on Saturday, not rushing to work or anything. If you are watch- rushing to work for an afternoon shift, well, I hope that you all stick and stay and don't you dare go away from the big old Radio London on 266 metres. That's 1340 kilohertz, of course, 11.34 kilohertz, should I say, 11.34 kilohertz. And, of course, we're on the uh, web at uh, bigl.co.uk. Right, a little few things to tell you about what's happening around the ridges. And, first of all, let's uh, let's go around to tell you uh, just... uh... Ah, I know well done, this is it. Right, here we go. Uh, Colchester this afternoon, Uh, there's a concert uh, this afternoon, or this evening, should I say, Under the Stars at Colchester's Park. That uh, starts uh, a little later this afternoon. Uh, Santa's Summer Party in the Lower Castle Park, all happening there this afternoon. And uh, don't forget, too, from uh, the 13th, which is uh, Monday, uh, the Summer Music Madness at the Spa Theatre Pavilion Theatre, of course, in Felixstowe. And next weekend, of course, World Pool Masters Championships uh, happening down in Essex at the the Lakeside Shopping Centre. If you'd like to go along to those uh, events, please tell them that Big L sent you, all right? And a few more What's Ons for you later on uh, today and, of course, tomorrow and all through the week here on Big L Radio London from the end of Clacton Pier. From 7 o'clock in, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning through till 2 a.m. With Radio London, the Big L revived uh, station here from the years gone by. And uh, as I say, right through until the end of August. Here's Frankie Ford for you on the Big L. It's uh, 15 and a half past two. I don't lay begging, but now I'm on bending knee. I got to get to rock and get my hat off the rack. I got to boogie woogie like a knife in the back. So be my guest, you've got nothing to lose. Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Oh, Capital Radio, my Mary, God. Mary, now, when was, when, when did I get when up was that? You tell me. Must have been 77. Yeah, yeah. where were you? Somewhere in Essex, Bromford. <laughs> the um, convention. Oh, yeah, it, uh, I remember. Yeah, of course. And a lot of people are still there for I don't know if you still got it. I gave you your first show on Radio London. Ah! I sent it to you. Yeah. Did you come from uh, Worthing, Worthing. Worthing? Yes, of course, and I did uh, BBC Radio Brighton, didn't I? So, uh, I've got that. I've got you on, yeah. 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 You're listening on medium, aren't you? There we go. Huey Smith wrote the tune. And that was Frankie Ford, of course, and taking you on a sea cruise here on the Big L Radio London this afternoon. Oh, my old mate there, and I can say that quite sincerely because I knew him very, very well in the uh, the 50s and 60s uh, down under. Uh, his name, of course, Frank Ifield. When I first met him in London at a certain gentleman's office in uh, Charing Cross Road, or just behind Charing Cross Road, uh, he hadn't quite made it. He'd just come over from Oz. Uh, Frank Ifield, of course, his name, and I remember you, and I remember Frank extremely well. What a lovely man. Okay, 20 and a half minutes after 2 o'clock, it's Big L, Radio London, Ian Damon with you through until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Then it's uh, my old mate, from down under and we work together in Townsville in Queensland, Norman St John. He'll be here uh, for you from three until six today on the Big L Radio London and uh, we're here on 266 metres. Ian Damon plays all the best on Clacton Pier. Mm-hmm. 
I have been reliably informed that uh, Frank Ifield's a broadcaster down under in uh, in Australia, so I'm told, in Sydney, uh, for uh, Macquarie Network and 2GB in Sydney. Uh, that was an Oz Press, by the way, an Australian Press uh, 45 from Asta, originally from Pi over this side. Tony McCauley and Michael uh, Dabblers, uh, Build Me Out Buttercup, Clem and the Boys, they're the new foundations. Tony McCauley did the production, and uh, here on Big Girl Radio London, 24 and a half minutes after 2 o'clock is our time. Ian Damon plays all the best. Okay, just coming up to half past uh, two here on the Big L. Half an hour more from me, and then after the two o'clock news, it's uh, three o'clock news. Oh, what am I saying? Three o'clock hour. It's Norman St. John. JRB is next. Wonderful Radio London. News around the clock. This is London. Radio London, dateline the 11th of August at 2.30pm. The Hamiltons. Former MP Neil and wife Christine are furiously denying an accusation that they were involved in a serious sexual assault earlier this year. They were interviewed for five hours by the police and released on police bail pending further investigation. Publicist Mike Clifford, Max Clifford, who was approached by a young Ilford woman with the allegation, referred her to the authorities. Journalists, radio and TV crews are doorstepping the high-profile couple who are remaining hidden in their home. Northern Ireland. <coughs> Survivors of the Irma bombing are suing known members of the real IRA. 29 people died and hundreds were injured or affected in some way by the atrocity. Leaders of the litigants say that the politicians have all turned their backs on them, with one exception, Peter Mandelson. The former Northern Ireland secretary was praised for his support for the group. Macedonia. <coughs> More fighting in northwest Macedonia this morning, despite a day of national mourning in the country. Yesterday, seven men were killed in a landmine explosion. The government said that peace efforts will continue, but called for a military solution as Albanian rebels continue to infiltrate snipers into villages that surround the capital, Skopje. Belfast. The desperate attempt to keep the Good Friday Agreement and the political institution alive continues. However, it's feared that the IRA will withdraw its support following the dissolution of the Assembly. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the country, uniformed Protestant boys are back on the streets with authorised marches to demonstrate their religious freedom. India. A bomb has exploded in a rickshaw in Gujarat. First reports indicate at least seven deaths and many injuries. The authorities do not know who was responsible. None of the known agitators for political change has yet claimed what they ironically call the credit. Meanwhile, in Delhi, there's an anti-racism conference taking place today. Leaders say that there is absolutely no connection between racism and India's poisonous caste system. Honduras. Human rights organisations say that 820 children and young people have been murdered in the past three years. They blame death squads linked to police. The police say the street children who roam in gangs, thieving from visitors and residents alike, kill each other as part of their intergang warfare. Critics say the killings will continue while the authorities tolerate them. Typhoid. Yet another typhoid case in a child in South Wales. The common trace appears to be a kebab shop that closed its doors voluntarily when health authorities visited the outlet to test their meat. The sufferers have all been prescribed powerful antibiotics and their full recovery is anticipated. The Gulf. An Iraqi oil tanker smuggling oil has been hulled below the waterline and crude oil is gushing into the Gulf's already polluted waters. Iranian authorities are struggling to contain the spillage. Seven tanks were punctured, five have been repaired. Surrogate mother. An English mother who agreed to breed a child for an American couple has been told she'll not be paid unless she agrees to abort one of the twins she is carrying. The Yanks only want a single baby. They claim the English mum signed a contract promising to deliver only one child. The mother has refused an abortion and intends to keep both babies when they're born. Norfolk. The police in the county have admitted that none of their speed cameras has worked for the last six months. The officer responsible for changing the films has been reassigned to another job. But don't speed up. The police are using the hated Gatso handheld speed guns instead. B beats the ITV. 
8.4 million people watched EastEnders against Corrie's 7.4 million last night in their first head-to-head -head clash on the networks. Overall, though, ITV wiped out the BBC for the whole evening's audience figures. It's a long time since the broadcasters mustered the sort of viewing numbers that Morecambe and Wise used to attract, sometimes as many as 23 million. But that was before Sky, Cable, the Internet and, of course, video recorders that were all working overtime last night as soap addicts fed their habit. And the weather. It's a beautiful afternoon, but clouding a little. But it's a smashing Saturday here on Big L, with temperatures high into the 75s. Feel sorry for those on the West Coast. They're suffering Atlantic rains and winds. The Broly Dollies said yesterday that Sunday would be damp, but now they've changed their mind. So get the barbecues out and enjoy. We're on 11.34 kilohertz, 266 metres in the medium wave band and on the internet. The next Big L news in one hour at 3.30. John Ross Barnard reporting. <laughs> Here's the best we're here through till two o'clock, three o'clock this afternoon. Thank you, JRB. Well done, sir. Yes, uh, I still think that people who are watching ITV should have been counted, even though they were putting it on to tape. Yeah. Just scrubbing brush and pail of water. Johnny Farnham, uh, known to you as John Farnham. That was his huge hit down under. And uh, also, of course, uh, over this part of the water, it uh, sort of nudged the charts uh, in the 70s, uh, or the 60s, should I say. Uh, Johnny Farnham, the um, vacuum cleaner solo, was Mr Jolly, and he was a commercial man uh, in Sydney, if memory serves me right. The cleaning lady, Sadie, and uh, that was... Uh, I remember going to his uh, presentation uh, for, um, I think it was a quarter of a million single sellers uh, at um, a hotel in Sydney at the Gazebo. Uh, near King's Cross in about 1970-71, around that time. And the famous J.L. John Laws was there too, who I actually went to school with. And we used to burn plastic rulers in the geology class to make a stink. That is true, a fact, folks. <laughs> Knox Grammar. Columbia, release there from uh, Johnny Farnham and Sadie the Cleaning Lady here on Radio London. 21 minutes to three, having a great time this afternoon at the end of uh, Clacton Pier. If you haven't been down as yet, oh, how dare you! We're going to... Time again. Hey, Britain's four millionaires of music, the Beatles, of course, John George, Paul and Ringo, and Oobla D, Oobla Da. With you just passing us here on the pier, I have a, um, a quiz question now. Uh, stick around, we'll have um, the quiz question for you after this next one, so stay around. I've got a, a very good book here from uh, Backbeat Books to give away American Troubadours, groundbreaking singer songwriters of the 60s by Mark Brend. And uh, it contains uh, a lot of useful information about the uh, artists uh, concerned, uh, the writers, etc., etc. And I'm going to ask a uh, very easy, quick question uh, uh, for you. Um, shall we do it right now? No, we'll do it after we've heard from uh, Mr. Boom Boom Frankie Cannon. <laughs> Oh, it's Freddie Cannon. Sorry about that, Fred. Well, way down yonder in the rain. That one came out in 1959 originally. It was uh, repressed and reissued in the 70s on a Phillips 45. And way down yonder in New Orleans there from the album Explosive, Freddie Cannon, written in... Nine when was that, Ben? What year? 1922. 22, Ben, my friend from Holland, tells me. Uh, 1922, gosh. Well, we were in New Orleans last year, had a fabulous time down there, and even rode the Charles Street tram. It was wonderful going on the old uh, streetcar down there, and uh, also on the uh, paddle steamer on the river, oh, on the old Mississippi. Marvellous. OK, it's uh, just coming uh, to uh, 40 minutes before 3 o'clock here on the Big L. Ah, bogey, there you are. I want you to pop out and get me a Big L Fab 500 poster. Just £9.99, including pastage and poking. Great music's on its way, cause the wombat's here today. So let us not delay, turn it on, turn it up right away. Hear yesterday's great 
Saturday. Bum, 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 right, without the jingle in the background. Now, I've got this uh, fabulous book to give away from uh, Backbeat Books, and thanks to their generous uh, donation, uh, we have uh, eight, all told, uh, in this uh, transmission for restricted service licence uh, of Radio London through to the end of the month. Uh, a new name in, uh, launched in, nine, in 2001, I keep saying, I want to say 1900 and something, uh, continuing their 10-year legacy of the former Mill uh, Freeman Books. And the company's purpose is to produce the best publication for readers who are passionate about music. So in uh, 2001, Backbeat Books published uh, over 30 new titles this year, wide-ranging mix, with something, something for almost every musical taste and interest. Uh, books are designed to entertain and inform fans about the music they love, to turn readers on to new artists and recordings, and to provide information and inspiration for musicians. Uh, we have uh, for you here uh, a book to give away. Anybody listening outside of the uh, broadcast units, uh, I'm going to give away um, uh, this particular book and ask... Uh, there was a song called If I Were a Carpenter. You remember that song? One of the uh, artists featured in this American Troubadours, groundbreaking singer-songwriters of the 60s, actually wrote this song. And I want to know his name. His first name is Tim, but I want his second name. And uh, it was the most memorable of the tunes of the 60s. It was uh, hit three times in that decade alone, been recorded by dozens and dozens of artists, yet um, it, uh, he was uh, never able to reap the professional and financial rewards of this success. So his name, it's Chapter 4, first person in through to... To, uh, the studio will get that book all right so uh that's uh, the book that i'm giving away today american troubadours first person in to tell me tim's second name you ready right meantime julie driscoll and brian august trinity Bob Dylan, who had his uh, 60th birthday the uh, other week, uh, actually wrote that song, This Wheel's on Fire. Uh, it came from uh, uh, Julie Driscoll with Brian Auger and the Trinity, and it uh, came out on a record label called Marmalade. Yes, the word's spreading around. It uh, could have been a hit, but it uh, never really was. But a nice sound, and it's uh, 1968, the early part thereof. OK, we've got seven minutes to go till Norman St John time after the uh, three o'clock weather word here for you on the Big L. Radio London. Remember this golden classic. Well, we had a competition uh, winner, had a competition to actually win the book. Uh, today's book uh, was entitled American Troubadours, and uh, Tony Nugas was uh, first in with the, uh, with, the co with the competition. What's the uh, name of the artist? Uh, it's Tim Harden. Well uh, done, yes. Tony. Thank you very much indeed, and uh, congratulations on winning the book. Thanks a lot, Ian. All right. Lovely. Cheers for now. Thank then. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cha-cha-cha and all that, uh, Bobby Rydell and uh, a song called Sway. Uh, K Sarah, uh, Sarah, Queen Sarah, that's it. <laughs> Gabriel Ruiz wrote it, uh, originally from Abco Records in the States and uh, released on uh, the old um, Decca Labels London Records here on Big L. We've got about one more, I think, to go before we uh, hit the pike, as they say, and on our way up to Harwich to see a few people this afternoon. Uh, all the Sun Dream came in this morning and uh, we came back uh, two weeks ago from a fabulous cruise uh, to Scandinavia on that same boat and had a, a marvellous time. And they're going down to Southampton overnight in the Sun Dream. So anyone driving up that way listening to us this afternoon, uh, uh, hope you're going to have a ball and all overnight going down to uh, Southampton tonight. And then it's off uh, for its Caribbean cruise. So that should be fun too for you. OK, so uh, many congratulations to all those who uh, came and uh, said uh, that they would win. And uh, they're a little bit late because uh, our friend uh, won the, uh, the actual thing and it's turned young Tony. And uh, congratulations. To, uh, to you, young man, once more. Ian Freeman, playing the best music. And we're going out on this one, I think, today. Well, Mona Lisa, Mona For today, uh, we heard uh, Mona Lisa as a song there by not Norman Twitty, <laughs> Conway Twitty from Mighty Good Music MGM, originally from 1958. Great, wonderful stuff. Hope you enjoyed my pit uh, for today on the Big L, and uh, be back next Saturday afternoon between three and six. Looking forward to uh, a little drive up to Harwich to the Grand Rock uh, Cafe to see some of the gang up there, and uh, back next Saturday afternoon between twelve and three. <laughs> Big L 
time is uh, exactly three o'clock, and that, of course, is Bulliver Watch Time, the world's largest makers of fine Swiss watches, Bulliver, B-U-L-O-V-A, at your Bulliver Jewelers, now. Here's the latest weather word on wonderful Radio London. Events, the weather person say that it'll be partly cloudy, a very few spots of drizzle, otherwise dry and becoming warm and humid, 23 degrees centigrade. That's the mid-70s uh, in Fahrenheit to you and me. Uh, tonight's misty around the coast and a sticky 15 degrees centigrade, which is still in the low 60s. That's me for my bit for today. Norman St. John, good afternoon, good people, and uh, here he is.